Hey Aaron, my name's Ethan. Um, I need some help with my kickflips. I can make it flip every time with a good bit of pop, and I can only land it with my front foot. I don't know why, but I can't get my back foot on there. And when I try to get my back foot on there, for some reason the board doesn't flip well at all, and it just looks bad. Um, if you could help me out, that'd be great. And if you do, here's some clips of me trying to kickflip. Thanks a lot for sending in your video. I'm going to do my best to help you out. So in the beginning you mentioned that you're having a hard time landing it with your back foot, but in almost every one of your attempts you do land it and catch it with your back foot. You actually are pretty close to doing the kickflip, you just got to get the flick of your front foot down a little bit better. Because like most people when they're learning how to kickflip, you're pushing your front foot down. Like you flip the board but your front foot goes straight to the ground and your back foot stays on to land on the board. So this is like a good way that you can practice and start getting used to the flip of the kickflip and it's a good way to practice catching it with your back foot. Like your catch with your back foot is actually really good. So now you just need to work on getting your front foot above the board so that you can land with both feet. So yeah, it's definitely your front foot that we gotta work on. Cool, so let's look at some slow-mo clips here. So notice that your front foot hits the ground before the board does. I have covered this in many videos before, but sometimes it's kind of hard to actually see what you're doing until you look at your own video. But here's one thing I wanted to point out. This still frame right here is everything looks perfect except for your front foot from this point on needs to go up. It needs to go up into the air, and your toe can literally go up instead of going down. So if you switch that around instead of pushing your front foot down right there and just pushed it up and bend that front knee and brought it up, that would be perfect. Because watch your back foot, it's perfectly poised to catch the skateboard. As soon as it flips right around, your back foot catches it perfectly. This looks like a really good kickflip. The only problem is that your front foot is not above the board. So all you need to do is practice this motion a whole bunch of times. I recommend just standing still and practicing this. The thing with Skateboarding Made Simple is that it breaks down pieces that you can practice on its own without actually attempting the whole trick. So yeah, just practice flicking your foot up. That's super important. I mean, you catch it with your back foot, which you're already doing a good job of, but you just need to be able to put that together while keeping your front foot above the board. Now, you guys can't forget that when you're flicking up with your front foot that you have to jump off of your back foot. So jump off of your back foot, make sure your back foot is above the board, and then your back foot can catch the board, and then you'll land. So just think with those points, practice flicking your front foot up, and you will get the kickflip. If any of you guys are learning the basics of skateboarding, or you yourself are learning how to kickflip, I highly, highly recommend Skateboarding Made Simple. You have to do every step of the video. It's very important that you follow it exactly. And don't skip any step. And if you do follow it exactly, you will get there and you will master the basics of skateboarding. So check it out.